Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about the slice tool, which was a tool more commonly used in the past, but I'll just go through what it is and some use cases for when you would want to use it. So what is slice? Slice is an exporting tool. It can be found in the region tools. So uh, where the frame icon is, you know, region tools, slice, shortcut S. I'm going to scroll down over here. I'm going to press S. Now we've created a slice. So what does a slice do? Um, firstly, you want to select it. So you can't really click on it. It's kind of hard to select sometimes. So you can just click drag over the boundary to select it. In the layers panel, we can see it has a slice icon and there are essentially two things we can do. We can change the size and we can export. So you might be wondering what's the difference between slice and just exporting a frame. So if I was to go on frame or shortcut F, frame you can also export a frame so when would we ever use slice instead of frame and i can think of three scenarios where you would want to use slice the first use case is you might want to export a frame or any element with extra padding so this can be useful if you're exporting icons but i'll show you my preferred method of doing that you can also break down a large frame for export so let's say you have a really large map like a customer journey map and it's really large and you only have an a4 printer you can create multiple slices to break it up into a4 sizes or you can export an exact portion so what what i mean by this is sometimes when we want a portion of our frame we would just use the native screenshot tool um, whether we're using a mac or windows but using a slice allows us to accurately export uh, an exact portion because we can snap onto elements in our workspace. So to demonstrate how we can export with extra padding, let's say we've got this vector of an icon and it's 1820, but we want to export an icon at 24 by 24 pixels. We can go ahead and press S for slice. We can draw out this 24 by 24. Let's try to get that exact. And then we can drag it in. So that's about the center. And now I can export this vector with that padding. And then if I want to go ahead and change the padding, I can hold shift and option so that it expands the slice from the center. My preferred method would be to just make it into an order layout. So let me go copy this. What I would do is I'd make an order layout, order layout. so right click, add order layout or shift A. I'm going to hit shift A and auto layout. If you don't know, is this a way to control spacing and padding? So I can go ahead and make it an exact size. So I just make it fixed and I can say, let's say I want a 40 by 40 and then I want the vector to be in the center. So I can just click on center. And I also have access to the export tools, uh, but this is a good way to keep the export with the icon because in this instance, um, you can see that the vector doesn't become a child element of the slice. So they're kind of still two separate elements. The other use cases are a bit more straightforward. So let me just zoom out a bit. Let's say we have a frame that's really large. On oh, these stretch, I'm just going to delete these. And you want to print it out with your A4 printer. You can go ahead and create a slice. I'm just going to roughly do it. And then you can go ahead and copy that slice across. So you can now export this frame um, into two portions. The only problem now is like it's kind of hard to select those slices. But that is one thing you can do. And the second thing is you can export an exact portion. So let's say I want to create a slice of this section. Maybe I just want it um, in this frame. So let's say I only want this area. I can go ahead and copy that slice. And then when I select this frame and paste, I can get the exact same portion from a different frame. So this is kind of like a more exact way of screenshotting. Um, I can always snap to elements like this. Whereas if I was to use the screenshot tool, I would have to kind of guess and I wouldn't be that precise. So that's slice in a nutshell. If you have any other use cases in your workflow that you think the community can benefit from, please leave them in the comments below. But that's all for now. Hope you stay hydrated, take a break, rest your eyes, and I'll see you all next time.